Hello, welcome back to module seven of setting up a journal with OJS 3.0. This is unit three of journal settings, your sections. Many journals publish different types of content, such as articles, reviews, editorials, and more. This unit will help you create the working frames for different sections you might publish, including naming, defining policies for the section, setting word limits, assigning section editors. In this module, I'll walk you through the process of creating a new section. To access sections, we begin back on our website and then access our user dashboard through the top right corner. Hover over Settings in the left-hand navigation menu and select Journal. Sections is the third tab in the Journal Settings. On this page, you'll see the list of sections already created. Clicking on the expansion arrow beside a section name exposes the Edit and Delete button. You can edit the parameters of a section at any time, or remove them completely if they are no longer needed. For our purposes today, I'm going to delete the article section, and together we'll recreate it. To delete, hit Delete, and then Confirm. If you hit Delete by accident, you can hit Cancel. Let's create a section by clicking on the link in the right corner of the box. This brings up a pop-up form. The required information is the section name and abbreviation. The title for the section we are creating is Articles. The abbreviation we'll give it is ART. Section policy is a statement that describes the scope of the section and the type of submissions that are appropriate. It should include information about whether the submissions to the section are peer-reviewed, indexed, and whether there are any restrictions on who can submit work to it. It can also include guidelines for length and formatting style. Word count allows you to set a limitation on the abstract word length. Entering a zero indicates that there is no limit. If your journal uses review forms, they can be selected from the drop-down menu and applied to the section. Our journal currently does not have review forms. Review forms are created and discussed in Module 9. The indexing section allows you to opt out of some of the OJS automatic functions. These will apply to all items published within the section. If your journal is not using peer review on this section, which would be the case for sections such as editorials or book reviews, be sure to check this box. The Identify Items box allows you to apply descriptive keywords to your section, which helps with search engine indexing. Finally, in this last section, you can assign section editors. Section editors will oversee this specific section and shepherd submissions from the section to publication. To assign an editor, click on Add Item. The drop-down menu will populate with all user accounts that have section editor roles enabled for their accounts. Select the appropriate person. If you'd like to add a second editor, click on the Add Item once more and repeat the process. When you're satisfied with your work, click Save. Lastly, the order of your sections on this page will be reflected in the table of contents of your published journal. To change the order, click on the order link. You can now drag and rearrange the sections as you please. When you're finished, click Done. And that concludes Module 7. We'll see you back in the next module. Thanks for watching.